This video is an explanation of how to set up your Aztec Apache tappetless cylinder head in a V2 gearbox. As you can see here, we have an Apache out of the gearbox. We have a lightly assembled gearbox that we are using purely for explanation purposes. And we've also got a universal T-piece, a universal barrel holder, and an APS type barrel holder on the table. When installing your APS, we have the rubber spacers on the rubber tip. For more information on the breakdown of the Apache, please watch the unboxing video to explain where everything sits. In this video, I'm going to explain how to determine how long your nozzle needs to be for a good seal. Two things that happen with the Apache. If your nozzle is too short, it will have an FPS loss from being too short and having a big air leak and it may also induce double feeding of gels. If your nozzle is too long, it will also cause an FPS drop because it will deform the rubber nozzle and more than likely have an FPS drop causing damage to the nozzle. So to determine your length, what we want to do is take our fixed Apache and set it so that it is at its maximum length, like this one here. As you can see, this one ejects forward whereas out of the box, it is already in its lower position. So to do that, we'll take our Apache, just pop it out of the cylinder, and unscrew the top cap. Pull it all apart, as it is. Normally, as you would have seen, the spring sits on the top, which has the nozzle pushed down into its low position. To get our maximum length setting, we want to put our spring underneath our nozzle so that it pushes our nozzle all the way out. To do that, put your nozzle back in your top cap, spring under it, kind of put it upside down and screw it back together, compressing the spring, wind it down, snug it down on the O-ring so it's nice and firm, and now we have it in its most forward position. Sit that back in your cylinder, you'll find that the join will be very close to the front of the cylinder there. Sit into the gearbox, making sure you don't need a piston in there, making sure the post, of course, aligns with the post in your gearbox. Put our upper half on. This is not being screwed together. It's just purely for pur example purposes. And you'll see that now the Apache is in its outward position. Take the T-piece you are going to be using. Now this is the most common T-piece at the moment. Aluminium T-piece, and you'll see as it slides over the top, it does hit the Apache before it bottoms out on the gearbox. So at this point here, I have about one and a half millimeter, if not two millimeters of compression, which is too much. That's already got our nozzle stuck in there. So what we need to do is shorten our nozzle so that we have roughly half a millimeter of adjustment of squish on our T-piece. So to do that, take off one of these space O-rings, put our nozzle back on. We have found that three O-rings is the perfect depth for the red T-piece, because as you can see here, we have about half a millimeter of compression which allows our rubber to seal in the T-piece, but not get damaged. It single feeds gels and has very, very good compression. So now that we have that set at around about three quarters to half to three quarters of a millimeter, we can make sure our T-piece sits nicely in our barrel holder, into your receiver, have everything in where it should be with a nice seal. Now, of course, you can see this up through your magazine well, to make sure we have a nice, a good seating position. Once you're happy with your nozzle depth, pull it all back apart and glue the nozzle and the O-rings in place, but also flip our spring back to the other side. So pull it all apart, drop it back out. Using Tarzan shockproof super glue, glue your O-rings to your nozzle, glue your rubber tip to your nozzle, 
let that set and put it all back together, making sure we lubricate our external and internal o-ring. Now we do have our silicon oils. We do recommend the 1000 CST um, for all seals within gearboxes. This is a 2000, so please ignore that. Keep this o-ring nicely lubricated, all back on top. Snug it down nice and tight. Glue your o-rings and your tip back in place. Back into the gearbox. And oops, sit it onto the pillar. And away we go. You will find that different T-pieces, different receivers, different gearboxes may need two, may need four. Does come with four o-rings. If you need to go even shorter, you can shave the base of the rubber tip. Um, or use different rubber tips for your different T-piece application. For more information, please contact us regarding different setups and different combination of parts. But this is our most common setup right now. In the not too distant future from when this video was filmed, we do have an adjustable T-piece coming, which makes this back face adjustable. So it will make it even easier to adjust this here. You can bring this back cap out that half a millimeter to get the perfect stroke of your tappet or your nozzle to get the perfect alignment of your magazine and will also suit smaller pistol caliber carbine style magazines such as an ARP and PX9. Thank you very much. I hope that helps.